G'day, Peanuts, Menace here with another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and it's good to be playing some Scrap Mechanic again. I know yesterday I played some Ark. I'm going to switch it up, play Scrap Mechanic, Ark, and whatever games I find along the way. Um, today, checking out more viewer creations. Thank you so much for sending them to me. You might notice that I don't have the camera up right now. Um, I woke up this morning, had a bad hair day. I don't look sexy enough for the camera, so I turned it off. No, I lie. Um, I always look sexy for the camera, right? Look at my, look at my face. Whoa, that was a bit close. Yeah, look at my face. I'm always... <laughs> I really need to clean my nose. Dang, man, some boogers up there. Um, <laughs> The green screen. It's not working too well. I uh need to wait until my new one comes in the mail. So there'll be more. It's coming soon, I promise. So this first world, I've got a couple today. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Maybe three, maybe two. I don't know. Some worlds that people send me, I just yeah are a little difficult to get working or i can't find the creation so please you know include some instructions if you send me stuff as always you can send me one there is a link in the description for my email address attached to my youtube account so you can always send me some cool stuff so this first one's by jstock and this is his world he's got like see these toilet paper there's toilet paper there and a block pretty cool world man thanks all right let's go on to the next one no i lied he's made he's been watching um he's been watching my peanut land video obviously and uh, let's get back our UI here and get rid of this stuff. There we go. No book in our way. He's got two cool rides here. This one's called Extreme. Extreme. Super Extreme. And this is very much um, like the Sidewinder one that I wanted to create in the the Peanut Land map that I did. And what's he done? It's pretty simple by the looks of it. All right. So let's jump on here. That does nothing. Actually, no. It does, it does do something. There you go. Look. And it's just a matter of... Oh, that's really cool, man. So you, you the, allow uh, the, the engine actually allows for the, look at this, man. We, we could go like, oh, the control is actually really good, dude. That is an awesome idea. So, because obviously, look, we can make it sit, sort of hover there and go, we can go back this way. Oh, that's so cool. Why didn't I think of that? You know why? Because I'm a peanut, basically. Um, yeah, this is a really good design, man. And that's obviously because of the well, well, world weld tool. So that... Maybe we should revisit Peanut Land and work on some other ideas. Come on, can you do it? Nope, we're going to go slow again. Oh, I really would love to be actually on this thing <laughs> and using it. Very cool stuff, dude. Really like that one. And then this other one here. This is very similar to our Scorpion ride. So uh, I think... Oh, yep. I think two... Opens the door. That opens the door. Oh boy. Okay, okay. That's that's pretty full on. Let's uh let's get it settled. We'll lift it up. Sorry, one is to lift it up. Oh, check that out. That does look like a lot of fun. We're going on this thing. Let's go. Whee! Oh, that's so not exciting as it was before. I think what you need to do, right, is you need to kind of toggle one. And get him going upside down, maybe. There you go. Now they're really going. Oh, that's awesome, man. And, and, you know, he's built, like, everything around here. Obviously, a bit of a world in progress. Oh, look, here's another ride. I didn't see that one there. I don't know what this does. I don't think I want to know what that does. It looks like it does a lot of lag. This is like a swing set that we, that we haven't... What's it called? Oh, yeah, okay. This is using the engines too. Oh, there's so many more possibilities for Peanut Land now. This is great, J-Stock. I think it's J-Stock. Oh, dude. Okay, so you just... All you do, like, is pushing W and S, right? And it's, it's activating the engine so you can get, like, full swing. We can't even... Can I, can I zoom in? There we go. I'll be able to see him. See if we can get this dude full 360... Yes, we've got this. They're a little bit out of sync, which is fine. Oh, that looks like a whole heap of fun to ride. Wonder how fast we can make this go. I reckon we could break this, right? If we keep it going, it'll just be enough momentum <laughs> to eventually break the machine. Oh, boy. No, I think I think it's just too heavy. Actually, the weight you've got is, is really good because I'm still holding S, right? Engines in reverse. And you see the speed is like sort of slow at the top. That's what I wanted to do with some of my rides in Peanut Land. So, yeah, good good ideas. And a lot of people have been asking me to keep doing work on um, on Peanut Land. So I think we might. But 
that's cool man thank you for sending me your world i think that's pretty much it i think all that stuff over there is like just just cars and whatnot cool let's check out the next world all right peanuts this next one is by a bloke named dart now he sent me this vehicle and he sent me some screenshots and i immediately thought this is cool as cool as beans man he's made this wicked looking like personnel character very futuristic in the design very cool with like the the red oh the red and the white looks super nice man i like what you did with the tires too you got the big old bolts on there cool and like thrusters at the back so we've got a door we've got a gym i don't know if anybody remembers that i'm pretty old i guess oh wow check out this man it's like a like full-on engine type deal and there's a couple of seats at the back i believe this is our driver's seat now i assume one's going to open oh yeah we've got two doors Oh, check out, they're like suicide doors, man. They work flawlessly. Very nice. Look at that. Yeah, that's cool. All right, so three. Oh, thrusters. We obviously can drive. So it's so it's kind of like a, a dump truck in the sense it's got the two steering wheels at the front. How's it drive? Is it on suspension? It's suspension. Oh, look at the suspension at the back, dudes. That's that's cool. Um, we'll have to check that out in a sec. Uh, we've got three for thrusters, so we can get that extra oomph. Um, it looks like it's done a little poopy over here. <laughs> uh, what does four do? I think four opens up the front. Oh, it... <laughs> no, this is what he... <laughs> Let's go under the light. He said it, it opens its little mouth. It's like a little... <laughs> it's just... That's cute, mate. That's cute. What's five do? Um, I don't know what five does. I think, I don't know. <laughs> Six opens up the engine. So obviously all your mechanics and stuff can get in there and, and toy with it. I really like the design of this one, mate. This is like, this is top notch, dude. Top notch detail. The detail, man, inside this thing is really cool. We do need to take a look at the, um, see the suspension? Oh, that's that's very cool. Let's just shut this back door, right? And we'll just we'll park up here. Uh, uh oh, uh oh. Can I get out of here? I think I have to open up the doors. Let's get out of here. This, this look at the detail, right? So he's got. So not only does the top half of this door open up, the bottom sort of opens up too. So you can quite easily just walk on up. It's like a yeah, very much like an APC or armored personnel carrier. Um. This is what I'm very interested in, how he's done this. So it's, it's pretty simple, but I like the idea of it. So there's a swing arm, right? Attached to this bearing where the two drive wheels, which allows for one wheels go up and this one can go down at the same time. So going over things like our... Um, I'll show you. Going over things such as like this, this bump here, you can see, look, the wheels sort of adjust, sort of. <laughs> yeah, look, and it helps going up like bumps and inclines a lot that's that's really good design dude i'm gonna have to steal that when we make some vehicles in the future when i think of something cool to make let me take a quick squeeze of the email and i'll see what he says about it oh radio he says that number five opens up a locker inside oh look this is a little bit here all it is is the small details that make a cool scrap mechanic gr creation great such as this this is just one little detail man Let's go. One tiny detail, and that means a lot to me. So much to me. <laughs> cool. We've got one more world to check out. I hope it's not a dud. If it is, then I'll be back here saying goodbye. Hang on a sec. All right, I've loaded this world up, and it looks like some pretty epic stuff going on here. I think I've seen this before. I feel like this is something I've seen on Reddit. And you know what? I can't remember the name of the guy who did it. Hang on a sec. I really need to. We'll check this out, and then I'll give, give props to the right person. Uh, oh, yeah, nice, nice. Actually, yeah, before we do that, hang on a sec. This is from Cyber Centaur, okay? So we need to figure out which one I think is going to be this guy here. Maybe we can just... Oh, no, one or two. Yeah, yeah, righto. We'll just jump on the seat. All right, the wheel's locking in. Oh, okay, that's a locking mechanism. We can go up. Oh, very nice elevator, dude. Works smoothly, apart from the horrific noises that Scrap Mechanic tends to make, which is all right. Um, I think we need to go up here and then we use number two to lock it into position. Electric engines for the win. 
Come on, a little bit down. That'll be fine. Cool. That's really good. Uh, actually, you know what we can do is just push, push one, right? And we can let the wheels freely do that. It, I prefer having the wheels up there, actually, and connected. I think that's a bit better. We just leave it like that, which is cool. Um, oh, I don't know what's in here. A little garage. Not bad. Everything yellow is actually really messing with my eyes. I don't know if it's doing the same for you. Oh, boy, this hurts. Oh, check it out, man. He's got a little... A little, uh... What are you growing here, dude? What is this? What is he growing? Is this... Is this legal in Scrap Mechanic? Is, is that legal? Because I should do that. No, I'm just joking around. Um, He's got bananas and carrots and arrows. He's, he's got a box of arrows. Oh, man. I wish I had a box of arrows. My eyes, the goggles, they do not sink. <laughs> can we go up any higher? <laughs> uh, please? We can go up higher. Uh, that's the wrong seat, you peanut. Up we go. Whoop. That's, that's a good elevator. Rating at 10 out of 10. Oh, okay. W wow. We need to go for a little bit of a lap. So hopefully there's a vehicle over here because I don't want to run the whole way. I'm sure you don't want to listen to me just prattle on about Garbo. Like, that's that basically all I do anyway. That's probably what you're subscribing for, right? Is just to hear me. I swear to God, man. You've got a problem. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Well, that was good. I don't understand that. He's done it again. <laughs> um, hey, that's a new sign. Or is it not a new sign? And I'm just crap at this game. Cool, we got a vehicle. And it looks like it's, uh... Oh, very similar to what I, I made last, last couple of episodes ago. Uh, what is in here, though? I like that. That's cool. Uh, oh, he's got a motorbike. Dude, this is sick. Alright, how can I get in here? How can I get up there? How can I do anything? Hello? How are they even sitting there? Maybe, uh... Oh, crashed. Alright, we're back. We are Baccarino, ready to try and... I want to ride the motorbike, first of all. Alright, so let's see. Nope. Can we go off here? Maybe it's just like a... Yep, that's how we do it. Is there an engine in this thing? There is. Cool, we can ride the motorbike over. Oh, this actually works really well, dude. Let's see how we go up these stairs. I'm glad I don't have to... Ooh, ah, 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 come on! You can do it! Well, we broke the motorbike, guys. We got to stuck. No, we didn't. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I'm such a good driver. Rider, driver. Let's calm it down a little bit. These bumps are horrendous. It's like the right height just for things to be horrible. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> That's alright, we'll get there eventually. Look, there's just so much more we gotta do. It's like an enduro track. If you know what enduro is, it's like a motorbike. No, not enduro trial. I'm bad. Bad motorbike fan. Bad, bad, bad. Bump, bump. It's fine. It's totally fine. <laughs> nice, comfortable ride. Leisurely ride. Here we go. Oh, man, that's such a good idea, actually. Making, like, a trial bike track. If you know what trial bike is, they're, like, um, really nimble, sort of balanced um, motorbikes. Such as this one, by the way, is super cool. With lots of clearance. Go away, schism. No. All right, friends. I, you know, like, after so many, like, it's, like, 64 episodes of Scrap Mechanic, right? And I still forget to turn off, like, steam. It's schism, man. It's, it's always schism. Always like, hey, bro. How you going? Or, like, just being a general, like, top bloke that he is. I don't know if you know Schism, but you should definitely know Schism by now if you hang around my channel. He's a good friend of mine and a, and a top bloke. Um, let's go up here. Let's see what he's got. Some some outer walls here. Let's check it. Um, another motorbike, which is good. It's a bit painted. Let's see what's in his garage. Please don't be like that other door. Wait! Oh, cool. So, it's just, yeah, it's just another garage. Nice, man. This would be good for when, like, bases and multiplayer really get kick off, you know? Um, another motorbike by the looks of it. And, yeah, man. It looks like you put a lot of work into this world. Oh, you know, sometimes on lower-end computers, things don't work too great. Uh, what's this over here? It's just a little box, I think. With a really slow door. Cool, man. Well, I think that might be it for this episode, guys. Oh, I want to get on here. I want to thank you all so much for watching as well as submitting your awesome, awesome Scrap Mechanic creations. 
there will be uh, probably some Ark Survival Evolved tomorrow. Don't forget, I've got Patreon too. If you want to um, help out with that, I plan to do Patreon stuff. There'll be a link in the description for that too. Um, I don't expect everybody or anybody, to be honest. It's just going to help me out. Um, I kind of want to get a little community going again. Back in Ark, we had a community, and I want to get that sense of community back to the Peanut Army. I'm bringing back the Peanut Army because I kind of neglected it a bit, and I apologize. Thank you all so much for watching, though. My name is Menace. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. Make sure you check out the rest of my channel and hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. Thanks for watching.